life is about doing what you want to do. Shout out Davey. Your life is really about doing what Shout you want to do and, 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 and figuring out, you know, of course, un, unweaving the false beliefs that you carry from past lives and things of that nature. But at the core of it, on the beat like, and on the intro, it's like you got you to gotta know what you want to do. do, do. I gave a shit, at least I remember. I can't believe how it damaged the smoking green. I came up cold, this beef got filled with botanical. I'll be, I'll be out some free. They've been trying to hide all the gay that I gave out for free. That's just for starters. The Carters. She made me too good, I'm feeling the car swerve. Gotta watch our words. Vision like Starburst. I take a dirt and we put that body with chest like a heartburn. I ain't doing yard work. The nigga departure. The like George Scorcher. I feel like an archer. Feel like an Arthur. She got your brain. Harvard. Rock about head, I don't got a barber. But I take it farther. Fucking vibes. Turn the shit all the way down. Keep the visualizations going. <clears throat> Woo. And uh, yeah, sir. What's going on, world? It's your man Saint Uno back again for another one. And you are tuned in to Saint Sunday Sermon. Oh. Hallelujah. That shit's still a little loud. Fuck. Let me if I um that volume don't do nothing. Shit! You fucking with the goddamn Yeah, I need complete silence. Complete silence. You know what I'm saying? Music time is over, even though music time is never over. Everything is music. Everything is sound, vibration, you know what I'm saying? Melody, rhythm, everything has a rhythm, everything. You know what I'm saying? Got like a pulse to it. You know what I'm saying? Everything is music. Don't get it fucked up. Don't get it fucked up. Everything is music. But, um, you know, time to get into the lecture ceremony on this episode of St. Sunday Sermons. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for coming to record at St. Studios. Thank you for supporting my music. And most importantly, thank you for being you. Um, we are still in the volume two series. Blown. That shit. But I thought it didn't save the uh the most recent recording I did, but it did save it. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Um so I ain't gotta do the whole dance part over again, which I wasn't trying to do. I'm not gonna hold you. It'd be looking like I'd be having fun, but it's kinda hard dancing like down here the whole time. I was like, yeah, I did that shit again. I ain't feel like doing it again. So you had to clear some space. My fault on that. My recording on this one, fuck. 
Yeah, I think the red light's on. And I said I wasn't going to check this week. I'm like, I'm going to just know. <laughs> Fucking demons. All right. Anyway, did the intro already. Um, track four, we're just going to go right into it because um, we wasted enough time already. So, yeah. Um, track four. I still don't know the name. Fuck the name. Um, no, nah, I'm going to figure out the name real quick. Figure out the name. Green light. Green light is the name. Um, why did I call it that? I think because I was doing um, like the whole house. I wanted every song to be correlated to the houses and shit. And the fourth track is like Cancer Season, which is like the heart chakra, which is like... Cause I say green light in the song, but I was like, why did I make that the title, though? I think because um, it's the fourth track, which is like Cancer, which is like about the heart space, which is like the home. And then the heart chakra, the color is green. So I was like, green light, you know what I'm saying? Like, got a green light in here. And uh, yeah, so that track, you know what I'm saying? Got Dave B on the intro, shouts him. Produced by Dave B um, as well. And that's like, you know what I'm saying, Soul Fam. So kind of ties in with the whole green light aspect as well. But um, yeah, that uh, that track is like, it's pretty cool. I fuck with it. Um, the line specifically that I want to get into this week is um I gotta like do it. Uh, uh, what drink I'm a red it. No, he hot as him. No, he hot as a candle. Behind all propaganda is a real message that is being concealed by the sender. I learned that from being aware of each try each time they try to scam them. You know what I'm saying? That's the line we're gonna go into. So um basically talking about, you know, so what is propaganda? Propaganda is, you know, from like an official definition, it's like when the state puts out, like when you hear propaganda, you think about like World War II posters. It's like, join Uncle Sam. It's like, fight for your country. Like, women can do it too. It's basically messages being conveyed to the citizenry. It's uh, like ideologies that the state, that the official government wants its citizens, its people to believe. That's like official propaganda. But really, um, and it has like a kind of negative connotation because it's usually something that's not, completely truthful right it's usually like when we think of propaganda it's usually like oh, okay this is like like we think of like russian propaganda or like nazi propaganda it's like oh you know what i'm saying jews are just little um evil bad people and we need to kill them and it's like an excuse to do the holocaust or whatever right so it's like um it kind of has this uh kind of connotation of being negative and being untruthful in a sense but from like a like a like a like i said like a state or like country perspective, but we're going to talk about it. Well, I was kind of talking about it in just kind of a everyday life, everyday, every, any, anybody you encounter, every conversation you have with somebody is propaganda because essentially, you know what I'm saying? Like when people communicate and this took me a long time to like, you got to kind of go through life experience to really understand this. Cause like when you're growing up or well, maybe not everybody, but when I was growing up, like, you know, I'll just talk to people and I just kind of like take people's word as like, for like as what it is like oh okay like that's what you said so that's what you meant like you know what i'm saying you kind of take things at face value you're a lot more naive because you're a lot more trusting or at least i was um and just like whatever people had to say you just kind of like i said took it at face value and like that's cool and that's whatever it is but the older i got the more experiences i went through you know i started to learn that you know say no conversation is just like propaganda you know what i'm saying it's just like in a like people's words is just an official statement, you know what I'm saying, of what they want you to believe. And a lot of the times, um, since we rely so heavily on words as communication, and you know what I'm saying, we don't really trust into our intuitive vibes that we get from people. We don't kind of, like, you know, they always tell you to, like, watch people's actions. Like, forget what a motherfucker is saying. Watch their, what are their actions? That's going to speak volumes about how they really feel about you and what their intentions truly are as opposed to their words because like I said a lot of times words are just propaganda so behind our propaganda is a real message that is being concealed by the sender I learned that from being aware of each time they try to scam them you know what I'm saying like I said different life experiences I went through with different individuals um, where they would say one thing and their actions would show a completely other thing which led me to the point like hold on like I kind of got to reevaluate like communication is like 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 speaking is like the lowest form of communication, if anything. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, everything's always in, in reverse. Everything's backwards down here. So, you know what I'm saying? Even though we're always like, 
we're so left brained out. We're like, ah, oh, yes, communication, word. How are you doing today? And blah, blah, blah. And I think I made a video about this a long time ago where I was like, the lies in the dialogue. That um, kind of is like what I'm talking about here. It's like, you can't really, and I was talking about that from like a film perspective because that's just kind of like a, like something I learned in films, like a script writing technique. It's like, you put the lie in the dialogue and you do the actual storytelling with the visuals, you know what I'm saying? People's actions, people's, you know what I'm saying? You let the camera and you let the, actually what's on camera happening um, tell the story. That's really visual filmmaking. And then the, the lie is, the dialogue is kind of there just kind of as a distraction, you know what I'm saying? There's like a tension that exists between like motherfuckers saying one thing and their actions doing another thing. And that kind of is like more interesting to watch as opposed to something that's like, I am going to kill you and then they kill you. And it's just like the dialogue is just very surface level, you know what I'm saying? So I was talking about it from that perspective, but then you also can apply it to real life where it's like the lies and the dialogue. And that's not to say like, oh, everybody's lying to you, but like, that's not to also not say that like, everybody's not lying to you. And lying isn't always a bad thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like, you can't handle the truth, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we always just told the truth, like, it'd be very kind of unproductive, you know what I'm saying? We kind of have to, in order to just go along in our day-to-day life, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's it? how you doing, you know what I'm saying? Doing good, like... You're just walking. You're just walking past somebody on the, on the way to go do your shit, and they're doing their shit, and we got so much shit going on through the day. If I ask you how you doing, you actually feeling like shit. You gonna tell me about how your grandma just died and this, that, and the third, and you fighting Kate? Like, ain't nobody really even got time for that. So it's not like, oh, this is bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like a a consequence of society, and like, so you just kind of. But on a deeper level, it also can be like when you think you have in, you know what I'm saying? You think you have a rapport with an individual. Or you think you have a certain connection with somebody and, um, you know what I'm saying, people can kind of rock you to sleep because they can be saying one thing, you know what I'm saying, and it can make you feel like they fuck with you with their words. They can be saying, oh, yeah, and it should sound good what they're saying, but every time you leave their presence, you got, like, you in a bad, depressed mood or it's like they always lead you into bad situations and shit, and then it's kind of fucked up because you can't call them out on it because, you know what I'm saying, on the surface level, according to the propaganda, they fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? They never really said, I don't fuck with you, so you can't be like an open enemy out there. And this is deep, because Dolo just dropped a video on like secret haters too, so that's kind of like the same shit I'm talking about. It's like, yo, you can have motherfuckers around you, they, they mouthpiece may be saying they fuck with you, but you gotta really tap into their, to the vibe you get from them, the situations they lead you into, um, you know what I'm saying? Just all different kind of more deeper forms of conversation and not get caught up in the propaganda, because like I said in the song, um, this is what I learned from being scammed a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? Just basically being too naive. Like I was saying, like when I was growing up, I would kind of just take everything motherfucker said at face value. And it took me, you know what I'm saying, getting lied to, getting robbed by different people, um, just getting taken advantage of, and just being in situations where I trusted somebody's word and it just left me high and dry, my dick in the dirt, looking stupid, scratching my head, damn, my dick in my hand to finally come to realize it's like, okay, like, you know what I'm saying? Communication isn't just verbal and verbal communication, like I said, is kind of the lowest form of communication because this is like, everybody's going to always show you their best face. You know what I'm saying? There's, I saw a meme one time where it's like, the Japanese have like a, a saying where it's like, you have three faces, you have three masks pretty much. It's like, one is the one that you show the world. Um, one is the one that you show the close friends. And the, and the third one is that you, one you don't show nobody. And that's like your most truest one. And that's kind of what I'm saying. Like communication, talking is kind of like the first mask, like the most one you show the world. Like you're never going to show, no one's ever going to really show you their true colors. You know what I'm saying? Like even me, like posting videos, like, oh, like I'm spiritual and I give advice and I'm, you know what I'm saying? Listen to me or whatever. Like. I got thoughts and feelings that I would never fucking tell. That's 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 about as close as I'm gonna get to telling you certain shit that, that like I would never say on camera to anybody. You know what I'm saying? And that's just it's not like I'm a quote unquote bad person or anything. It's just like why would I shoot myself in the foot? You know what I'm saying? It was like that that um, Shakespeare saying all all the life is a stage. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit is all a performance. Um, everybody has their own best best interest in heart, and you can't really be too emotional and take it too serious because like I said, this is what we're all doing, you know what I'm saying? So you can't be like, oh, you can't get into a space where it's like, oh, that motherfucker, you know, people be lying to me. Like, it's not, I don't want to fuck with nobody. Well, it's like, no, you got to fuck with people. You need connections out here. You can't just be, you know what I'm saying? No man is an island. Teammate work, teamwork makes the dream work. So 
it's not about like if somebody's really showing you they true 100% authentic real self because cause like the Japanese saying like nobody's really going to show you that and if you take it on your own look in the mirror you know you got shit about yourself too that you never going to tell nobody you know what I'm saying and you're not going to shout from the rooftop because you know what I'm saying that's not necessarily what life is even about you know what I'm saying shout out to Davey again life is about doing what you want to do you know what I'm saying to bring that shit back around so it's like alright if I got certain thoughts and feelings about shit in the world that'll stop me from doing what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would I shoot myself in the, f like, for example, like, let's say you, like, got a, you, you got a job, but you got a job to pimp it out and put the money that you get from the job into your own business or your own creative endeavors. And you may feel a certain way about people at the job, about your boss. You may want to, deep down, you may go home and say, I fucking fuck that little bitch, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to go up into the, into the meeting with, with them and say, fuck you, I don't fuck... Cause you're going to shoot yourself in the foot and then you're not going to be able to do what you want to do. So it's like, you got to be fake to an extent. That's just kind of the world that we in. And it's not even like being fake. It's just like playing the game. It's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? And you can't psych yourself out and get into a uh, kind of a situation where it's like, oh, I'll keep it real. And it's like that Dave Chappelle skit, skit when keeping it real goes wrong. And that's real shit. You can, you can keep it too real. Like you got to know when to play dumb. You got to know when to shut the fuck up. It's not always about... Like, yeah, you got your own true feelings, and those are valid, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you shouldn't feel those ways, or you should even be ashamed of having those things. Because like I said, everybody has like a, a mask they don't show nobody, and it's not because you should be ashamed of that mask. It's just that like, it's not convenient. It's not smart. It's not like all the world's a stage. Like, why, why? And, at the, and on a deeper level, too, like, if we're just talking about like the physical world and like the matrix and shit, like... You know what I'm saying? This shit is all foo foo anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like that oh that concept in um I forgot what ancient Eastern religion, like Hinduism or Buddhism or some shit like that. Well, they basically say that the whole physical world is Maya. That's basically what I'm saying again. All the world's a stage. Um, this shit is Maya, which is like this is an illusion, and this is not even really the real world. The real the quote unquote real world is inside of you. That's your soul. Um, like I just made a video about how your spirit is everlasting. That's like you, everybody has their own universe and that own internal universe is quote unquote the real world because that's everlasting and that's a world that, you know what I'm saying, that you create um, as a spirit where you become aware of certain shit and you, this kind of Maya world is just kind of like a, a thing that we, I like guess a stage, it's something that we play in, like it, we're just playing with this shit. So. But it's like when you play in a game, the game got certain rules, you know what I'm saying? Like you play in a game and you're on level one, you didn't unlock certain guns and, you know what I'm saying, bombs and shit yet. So you still got to throw punches and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like every rule, every time you go into a matrix, you have to abide to some certain sort of set of rules or something. And you know what I'm saying? Like when you're in your own true world, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's all you, that's ain't no rules there, but then you also it's kind of, it don't really exist because there's nothing, you don't have no physical, like you need everybody else's perceptions to come and to create things and make it real. So it's like, it's like a duality. It's like the, the real world is real, but it can never really, you can never really experience it. It's always just internal. It's just some like, it's kind of like idealistic in a sense. And then the actual physical real world that you actually interact with is not real in the sense that it's like, you know what I'm saying, it's like a physical illusion that we all come, I just made this video too, like how life is a collective hallucination, you know what I'm saying, we just all kind of create these different shapes and forms to experience certain things, and everything comes with a price, so it's like when we're experiencing these certain things, you know what I'm saying, we can't always be true to our, 100% true to our soul, our spirit, you know what I'm saying? That might fly in our own universe and we go back to the crib and we have our own thoughts and feelings and we dreaming up shit. Yeah, you can do whatever you want in your universe. But when you step outside into the matrix, into the Maya, this shit got certain rules you got to abide by. Like you can't tell your boss to eat a dick even though you want to, you know what I'm saying? You can't just go up and shoot that motherfucker you don't like because it's going to come with consequences. You can't just... Oh, go around and putting your dick in everything that pleases the eye. You know what I'm saying? Like there's certain you can do that shit in your mind though. You know what I'm saying? Back at the crib, you be like, oh, I'm. You can do little rituals and spells and shit. You know what I'm saying? Not, not to get too too dark or anything, too into dark magic or anything like that. But like, it's just like there's the real world because it's real to you. You know what I'm saying? That's what you know, and you don't let nobody. It's precious to you, but you can't really experience that all the time. So, 
like I said, um, getting back to the, the point of this all is that like, since you can't really express it, no one can really truly express herself a hundred percent and still be kind of like working with the world in a way. So you gotta, in a sense, lie. You gotta put out propaganda. Like, I'm not saying that shit like, oh, the world telling me, like, I give propaganda too. I, I lie every, we, we all, I lie. Allah, you know what I'm saying? God said Allah, you know what I'm saying? So everybody lie. This shit is all a lie, you know what I'm saying? I think I just made that video too. Like life lies in life, lies in believe. All this shit is a lie. So you got to once you understand that, then it's like, "Oh, okay. Well, let me um like and so it's like then you can start to use conversations and communication you have with people as a tool and it's like, "All right, well, you know what I'm saying? This person is saying this that and the third, but um I can kind of weigh it out. Like if they make, if, if what they're saying kind of adds up with their actions and the vibes that I'm getting from them, you know what I'm saying? Then I can kind of probably assume that like 85% of the shit they say is true. And you know, I can fuck with that and I can, we can roll, we can do business or whatever. We can, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's never going to be a hundred percent. Everybody is going, like I said, it's like that Japanese faces. Like there's that one face that you ain't going to never see. You're never going to truly know people and that's not to be like depressed and be like oh i don't i'm never going to really know somebody it's like just know yourself and once you know yourself you can know you can start to pick up in intuition and pick up to the higher forms of communication that aren't just somebody's mouthpiece and then you can kind of weigh you can kind of weigh the um you know what i'm saying the benefits of or weigh what the person is saying and how you make it feel and shit and then you can come to an ultimatum of do you want to fuck with this person or to what extent you want to fuck with this person. You might only want to do, keep it like business and not get personal with this person. Or you might only want to be personal with this person and not do no business with this person. Um, and this is just, uh, just, just, just so you know like how to interact with people and not get rocked to sleep just by thinking that somebody's words are the only form of communication. Because if you think that people's words are the only form of communication then and you're not really taking all this into consideration that all like oh okay everybody has you know what i'm saying different levels of faces they're gonna show me and you um you may get into a situation where you take somebody's words and then they don't add up and then you feel like personally offended or like may not want to fuck with the world because like oh you might think like somebody lying to you is the worst thing in the world when it's not it's just like a part of the game you know what i'm saying it's like don't hate the player hate the game you know what i'm saying this shit is all we all playing the same matrix game you know what i'm saying some people um can play it better than others so some people know how to talk better and get what they want like i said like dave b said i'm getting video life's about doing what you want to do some motherfuckers know how to run that mouthpiece and get people to really truly believe in it and they're doing this that and the third behind closed doors and they're able to manifest what they want because you know what i'm saying you believe the lie you know what i'm saying that they gave you with the words because you aren't you weren't looking at their actions. You weren't paying attention to their vibes. You weren't paying attention to how they treat people, other people other than you and shit. You couldn't kind of add up. You need to add up all these levels of communication to really dictate how much you want to fuck with certain individuals and just know at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, nobody's perfect. Nobody's going to really um, save your soul. You know what I'm saying? No one's going to come. No one's going to like, you're never going to like go into the world and find that per Like we kind of been sold this fairy tale idea that like you're gonna go and find like true love and somebody's gonna completely understand every aspect of you. And that's not to say that you can't like be brutally honest with people and you can't form very deep relationships, but at the end of the fucking day, at the very end of the day, it's like you're never gonna find like your soulmate or like someone you can just be a hundred or maybe you can. Let me not say that. Let me not say that. Um maybe motherfuckers have found their perfect twin flame who they could just say everything they want to them, but according to my life, the shit, I, what I know so far, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, yeah, you can have deep connections with people and y'all can agree on certain things, but at the end of the day, your soul is your, is your individuality, you know what I'm saying, everybody is their own individual at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, so I don't really expect to find no one who is 100% completely like me, because that's not the point anyway, we all have our own space, like I said, our own universe that we can go back to. So it's like finding people with similar ideas and similar thoughts and similar feelings, you know what I'm saying, that y'all can come together and create shit in this matrix that's kind of mimics a little bit how you f feel in your own personal universe. But at the end of the day, like I said, there's always a price to be paid. It's never going to be 100% just like 
your world, you know what I'm saying? Because teamwork makes the dream work and everybody has their own unique perspective. Every soul comes from its own unique universe. So it's like you can't really, um, once you understand that, you can kind of take your feelings out of it and be like, all right, then you're not expecting someone to complete you, you know what I'm saying? You're not looking for that idea of love where it's like, oh, you complete me. It's like, ain't nobody going to complete you. You are already complete. That's the point, you know what I'm saying? And you coming out into this matrix just to kind of, just to have fun and just to experience certain shit, but it's not, it's not to find yourself out here because this shit all comes from the internal anyway. You know what I'm saying? The real, true, 100% whole, complete you is is inside. It's not out there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, don't get, um, long story short, don't buy too much into what motherfuckers say. You know what I'm saying? Analyze all aspects of the communication and how they're making you feel and shit like that. And um, once you can kind of weigh that, you can see how much, to what extent you want to fuck with them or not fuck with them. And um, just kind of realize that nothing's, don't take shit too personal, you know what I'm saying? And that's kind of a problem that I, and that song, that's, that's funny because that song is the fourth song, like I said, it was just cancer, which I got like heavy cancer energy. And we can get kind of too, like we're about the home space, you know what I'm saying? So we're about like, oh, I want to build like, the. we kind of want to, we have a desire to like show our true selves and be one, you know what I'm saying, create a home, like a private home, kind of that privacy with people where it's like, you're going to see that over and over again, like motherfuckers got their own house, you know what I'm saying, like, it's like moving in with somebody, it's like, that's a, that's a big step to take, you know what I'm saying, I didn't have friends where it's like, that's my partner, that's my, that's my ace boom coon, but then when we move in together, it's like, I didn't damn near hate this person now, you know what I'm saying, because like, they, you don't understand that everybody got their own homes. Yeah, they might, you might, y'all might get along out in the world. Y'all could make money together and do fun shit together. But like, hold up, we don't, we not the same though. Like, I don't live like how you live. You know what I'm saying? And like, as a, like on, the, on some cancer shit, you be trying to like just think like, oh, I want everybody to come back to your house. And then you realize when motherfuckers get in your house, they don't treat your house the same. It's your house. Like, they're not gonna treat it the same way you do at the end of the day so it's kind of like you got to learn to set those boundaries and just be like all right you know what i'm saying i can i'll fuck with you to an extent but you're never gonna like find yourself out there you know what i'm saying that's and the more you buy into people's propaganda their words how they make you feel um if you're not able to kind of see past that you can get rocked to sleep and put in some bad situations where you try to build a home with a motherfucker who's not meant to build a home with you know what I'm saying? And then that can lead to very catastrophic situations where it's just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? And then you feel like somebody done invaded your most sacred personal space. And it's not that they really invaded it. You kind of invited them into that, you know what I'm saying? And just didn't understand what was going on. So just as long as you understand what's going on, you can, you can use this word. This world is to be used. You know what I'm saying? People are to be used. And that, that's not a bad thing. It's like, this we're all we're just using this shit none of this shit is us we can't get too lost into any of these shapes and forms you know what i'm saying it's just all shit that we're just using for the time period we're just experiencing for this for this for this passage we call lifetime and um yeah behind our propaganda is a real message that's being concealed by the sender what's the real message you know what i'm saying um you gotta. You you may never know the real message. Uh, you may never truly know how people feel or how truly you know um, what people think about you. But you can at least make more educated guesses and not only just go off the mouthpiece like I like I used to do when I was a little kid when I was naive and just thought if somebody says, "Hey, I'm going to give you five dollars tomorrow," that don't necessarily mean they're going to give you five dollars tomorrow. <laughs> Um, and then you kind of, kind of learn, okay, well, I just saw their bank account and it's got zero dollars in it, or they've been saying this for five days. I might've believed it the first day, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. That's where that saying comes from. It's like, you can't just keep, you'll keep being somebody's fool if you only go off of the surface level mouthpiece that they're giving you, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, just learn to see the real message, um, and like I said, you're never gonna truly know the real message, but you can get a lot closer. You can get, you can make an educated guess on the real message. Um, like I said, the more intuitive you get, and the more you pay attention to people's actions and how they treat others, and you know what I'm saying, just kind of add up all these things 
and make a more educated guess than just going on somebody's words. And this may be really obvious to some people. Some people may, they may be from certain backgrounds and situations like, duh, I don't trust nothing. Nobody say, duh, motherfucker, you should have been known that. But it's like, you know what I'm saying, uh, I guess I was kind of lucky in that sense to grow up and kind of be you kind of be naive and like actually kind of grow up in a setting where it's like people would actually deliver on the things that they said. Like I might have parents who like actually did the shit they said they were gonna do. So that kind of like you know what I'm saying there's a gift and a curse with anything. It's like okay, my parents say they love me and they actually love me. Oh my parents said they're gonna give me something for Christmas and they got me something for Christmas. So that can kind of make you naive and go into the world and be like oh well yeah I. This person says that, so they mean that, but like they, you don't know where they come from. <laughs> they might come from a household where it's like you couldn't trust nothing nobody said, and everything was about deception and lies. And um, so you interact with them with this, with these wide-eyed, oh okay, shit is sweet out here when it's not, and your eyes get eaten up like a motherfucking bunny rabbit if you don't have that spiritual discernment. So um, yeah, shouts to all my naive souls out there. Um, like, this is a gift and a curse of everything. Being naive isn't always bad. One of the benefits of being naive, really, is that you kind of, um, you're able to manifest kind of like your wildest dreams because if you're really naive, it's kind of like the, the fool card, you know what I'm saying? You don't think anything is necessarily impossible. You kind of just think, like, like oh, all possibilities is true, which it is. But people who are maybe really naive, they might be good at, like, not being manipulated in the physical world, but then they also can't, like, truly you lose out on a certain trust aspect and you can't really um trust nothing even like the universe and shit and it's like all right well i'm just gonna always play it smart and play it you know what i'm saying do the do the smart move or it's like that might be cool in certain situations but sometimes being super naive and just thinking that like yeah like i trust shit um it can get you really fucked up and really damaged and really hurt by people but it can also open up the doors for endless possibility in the universe so don't think just because you're naive and trusting and, you know what I'm saying, you think all things are possible, that's always a bad thing. It's not always a bad thing, but just know who the fuck you're dealing with at the end of the day, too. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's a time to be naive, naive and just kind of open and willy-nilly and, yeah, this can happen. Cool. And there's a time to be like, hold on, motherfucker, I don't trust nothing that's coming out your mouth. So just know when to do that. And, of course, you're not going to get it right all the time, but... um. Everything takes practice. The more you do it, the uh, better you'll get at it and shit like that. So, um, yeah, propaganda. Uh, I feel like the episode is kind of all over the place, probably because the, the shit happened in the beginning. But um, I hope you took some away from it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.